Brooksaw Antiques here. Today we have this 1954 Underwood Universal vintage portable typewriter. I'm going to show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. Up top is the adjustable paper guide. This helps you guide the page in straight. I'm going to line that up with the edge of the platen, which is the main roller here. Margins are located behind the carriage. And you just push them in and move them like that. I like to put them at the beginning and the end of a page. This has the elite typeface. So you should be able to type all the keys on one line. The elite uh, prints 12 characters per inch versus the standard, which is uh, 10. And that's called Pika. So I just want to li line that up and just get it in straight. Sometimes it takes a little practice. Once you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin. You have to find space to get you back to the beginning. It skips one, two, or three. Right now, we have it on single, but if you want double, there's a switch underneath the knob here. You flip it down one, skips two, flip it down again, skips three. That works good. We're going to keep it on single and finish typing. I was actually able to type all the keys on one line because of the Elite typeface, which prints 12 characters per inch. So now I'm going to type a sense in red on the next line by switching this down to the red dot that prints the bottom portion of the ribbon. Beautiful type of machine. These are all, the middle one is the one I just typed, but all these other ones are ones that I've practiced on. Really like this typewriter. It's very smooth. Underwood made some of the best typewriters during this era, and even back in the early 1900s. But this model is very unique because it's got that 1950s style that you don't ever see. It's very popular now. Sorry for the screeching. These um, these foot mounts are just really, they actually feel brand new almost. So I don't know if those were replaced recently. But they're not worn at all, so they squeak a little bit. To pull the page out easy, there's a switch on the right side. You flip it forward and it unlocks the rollers underneath the platen, allowing you to pull the page out easier, load thicker paper like carbon copy or cardstock. Make sure you flip that back before you load the next page or else it won't load correctly. Backspace on the top left, that works good. A shift on each side and a shift lock on the left. To clear that, just hit the shift button again. Open the hood. All the brand new ribbon is loaded on the right side, so it's pulling to the left. And if you want to switch the direction, there's a little knob here. You flip it to the back and you can wind it too. And it pulls to the right when you flip it to the back, pulls to the left when you flip, flip it to the front. You want to keep it pulling to the left. That works good. Also, there's a touch control in here. So you flip that all the way up. This creates more tension when you hit the keys. You gotta hit them harder, but they respond faster. When you have it low, you don't have to hit the keys as hard to get them to print, but they don't respond as fast. So more experienced typers will like that on high. Tab is on the top right. So right now we should have one tab set some, somewhere in the middle. There's two tabs set. I like to set tabs in the middle um, because this one, as you can see, it'll Go slamming all the way to the end, causing wear and tear on your typewriter, so it's good to have you set until you're ready to use them. So when uh, to set them, you just hit, or to clear, let's clear this one first. So I hit the tab button and then I hit CL, and that clears that one tab, so now it goes to the second tab. We're going to keep that set and just set another tab here by hitting the set button on the right side. And now we have two again, one there and one there. That works great. We're going to flip this switch back up to blue. If you flip it in the middle, you, you won't print anything. So if you have a typewriter and it's not printing, then that's why. It's one of the reasons why. Carriage release on each side on this model, very smooth. And this switch will disable the spacing when you turn the knob so you can get to an exact spot on the page. You flip it back, get those clicks. Each one of those clicks is one space. That works good. And that's it, now available on eBay or Etsy. Search Brooksaw Antiques.